Hello, welcome. My name is Sean Donovan and I'm with Mahesh Trivedi today for the next instalment of the Success Brain Program. Negative habits and their devastating effects. How well did you do with the process of beginning a new positive habit? Keep at it. There are few skills more valuable. Imagine the difference in your level of success if you could develop new habits whenever you wanted. Negative habits can be devastating to your overall quality of life and also to your success. It's important to understand how negative habits can create serious challenges. Consider now all the habitual behaviours you exhibit that eventually lead to unwanted, negative situations in your life. Negative habits can produce results that are completely contrary to what you desire. You wouldn't consciously choose to keep yourself from what you truly want but you keep repeating those habits anyway, just because they are what they are, habits. Honestly evaluate how what you're doing is affecting your life. Maybe you have not achieved your work goals or your health is not as good as it could be because of your habits. Although it might be a challenge. Take a long look at where you are now in life and how your habits have gotten you here. Subconsciously or even consciously, you apparently experience some type of benefit from continuing to perform these negative habits. If you didn't, you wouldn't be doing the habits in the first place. Think about how you're getting reinforced to continue repeating your unsavoury habits. Mahesh. Thanks, Sean. Uh, consider this example that to understand that Tom wants to play basketball with the man in his neighbourhood who bought, who get together every Saturday at 10 a.m. He, he used to love shooting hoops in college and for a few years afterward, when he first started working, of course, he was in a lot better physical condition than even he, he did not have a six pack. So even though he talks all the time about wanting to get back into shape, the fact is that now he can only dream about reaching that goal. Tom is 30 pounds overweight and already fights his high cholesterol. So after work during the week, Tom's just too tired to do anything. And he loves to sleep it on Saturdays. Tom feels entitled to stay in bed on Saturday morning after getting up at 7 a.m. to go to work all week. So he sleeps late until around 9 a.m. Then he has his favorite breakfast, sausage, gravy and biscuits with two glass of milk, a glass of orange juice and a banana. <laughs> By the time he prepares and eats his breakfast, he is in no condition to play basketball. <laughs> so in this example, what are the benefits to Tom to keep repeating these behaviors, which are a negative habit on Saturday mornings? So how is, how is he being reinforced to continue the behavior that are actually keeping him from what he really wants? So let's, let's have a look. So number one, he he gets to lie in bed longer, which he apparently longs to do. Number two, 
Tom loves the taste of his breakfast. So it feels like a decadent to him to eat a breakfast so full of fat, calories and flavors. Frankly, it just tastes good. <laughs> Number three, there are no real demands on him during these times. So he doesn't have to get dressed, go out and accomplish anything. In number four, Tom deserves it. He's convinced himself that he deserves to lie in bed as long as he pleases, eat his unhealthy breakfast and choose not to play basketball. So emotionally, he sends himself the message that after working all week, he can behave however he wants regardless of the consequences long term. So look, now the fact is that Tom's Saturday morning habits of sleeping late, eating a breakfast loaded with calories and fats and choosing to avoid playing basketball sets the tone for this entire week and maybe even his life. Tom has consciously convinced himself he is doing what he wants. But is he really? After all, he is repeating a series of bad habits. He just keeps doing unhealthy behaviors every single Saturday of his life. So which would be truly choose being in a good physical conditions by playing basketball and hanging out with the guys on Saturday morning or continuing to stay in the shape he is in. Sean. Thanks, Mahesh. I think we all know a Tom in our lives. <laughs> Take a minute or two to ponder the situations in your life you'd like to change. Are you like Tom, <laughs> engaging in negative habits from which you consciously or unconsciously derive benefits? How are you negatively reinforcing your own unsavoury habits? What do you say to yourself that encourages you to continue repeating the unacceptable actions? If you see a bit of Tom in yourself, you might want to begin consciously focusing on the things that are more important to you to obtain a different, more pleasing result. You'll benefit even more from establishing a positive habit than you derive from repeating a negative habit. Creating good habits and eliminating bad habits are both highly effective, but what if you could replace a negative habit with one that's positive? That would be even more powerful. Pay special attention to the next lesson. Mahesh. So let's now wrap up our lesson with a... So get started on the tips for this lesson. So make a list of your habits. There are counter, counter to your long-term intentions. Consider everything, even your tendency to watch TV when bored or stressed might be a negative habit. Examine your tendencies and don't forget to finish additional resources and additional worksheets to complete on these lessons. And thank you very much. We'll see you in the next lesson.